my beautiful fragrance family. Dustin here, fragrance fan. Go ahead and do me a solid and click that like, comment, and subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell notification. And I'm just gonna keep on giving you guys these budget-friendly fragrances. Use that 40 ish hundred dollar range. Most of these are way less than that, and a good number of these you can pick up at your local rack stores. And uh, the one I'm talking about today, I've actually talked about a long time ago when this whole little channel was in development. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna recap on some of my original ones because. Uh, Let's face it, your first stuff isn't always your best, and I'm, I'm probably even re-review some of this stuff now because it's not going to be my best, right? Because you keep on growing. So I just want to recap on a fragrance that is very unique and kind of needs to get known a little bit more. I think it started to board the hype train for just a second, and then it fell off real quick for I don't know what reason, but uh, I'm talking about Sean John's 3 a.m. It's like ice cubes or something, the way that this thing looks, and... Uh, the lid, the atomizer lid, clicks nicely into place. This is like a little, uh, it's not rubber. It looks like it'd be rubber, but it's actually plastic. And this is the first fragrance that I ever seen with an amazing atomizer. It's like the OG as far as cheapies. So, this fragrance is primarily built around a unique fig note. If you don't like fig leaf, which is um, a unique foliage type of a note, it's kind of hard to describe. You really got to like smell it. It's got like some sweetness to it, a little bit of sweet qualities, um, dusty, green. It's 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 unique. So you <laughs> you gotta like fig notes in order to like this fragrance because that is the heart of this fragrance. There's also stuff like a little bit of that creaminess from the orange blossom, but there's also a decent amount of the tonic that you get in this thing and the sandalwood. There's also cardamom, there's some geranium in here, but mainly and primarily, this is a fig leaf suede tonic water kind of a fragrance. It's geared specifically for the warm weather. This is like an awesome, like epitome almost of like a springtime fragrance. It's bright, it's easy, it's light, it's crisp, it's unique. That's why I wanna review this thing. It is totally different. It's not your average fragrance. If you wanna have something that is unique and different, then this is not gonna probably smell like anything that you have in your collection. I've never smelled anything that smells even close to this, but it smells good. It's not like a niche quality design or anything like that, but it is, it's a good smelling fragrance that's not like everything else that just works. I don't know if you're gonna break up any compliments of this. You might get some attention because it's so different, but it's fresh, it's office friendly. It's performance isn't all that great, but it's not all that bad. I get about the four to five hour range with okay projection for about 45 minutes and it dies back to about a foot off my skin for the next solid three to four hours. So it's not really bad, especially for being such a light, airy, type of fragrance. It's fresh spicy, a little bit of fresh spiciness from the cardamom. Um, I don't know if it would be more mature or if it would be more youthful. I think it's kind of split right down the middle as far as that goes. I don't think it's too uh, crazy masculine or anything like that or way too different for a younger audience to appreciate this. I think it's playful enough for younger to appreciate this. It might be too playful for older to appreciate this. It's just, it's different. <laughs> I'm gonna keep saying that. It's different smelling. The fig leaf is not a very common note in fragrances. It's not that uncommon, but for a fragrance to be built around that is just not very often. Um, overall rating, I'll give this a six and a half because look at the dent. I obviously like it. I haven't wore this thing in probably eight months and it's got a dent like that taken out of it. And the reason why I haven't worn it so long because I was wearing it so often. I was wearing it out of the shower primarily. This was a great out of the shower fragrance for me. And when I was going to the office in the spring, I was pumping this thing on quite frequently. It just worked. Um, like I said, warm weather, daytime, spring, summer type of a wear, fig leaf dominant, there's a little bit of that citrus in there. The cardamom gives it a touch of fresh spiciness. Decent amount of that suede though. Don't sleep on the suede. There's a decent amount of suede with the fig leaf and that tonic water. This thing is bubbly, uh, watery. I'm gonna spray it again because I like it. 
Yeah, it's definitely got that tonic water, suede, fig leaf. Those are like the three players in this thing and a little bit of the florals, a little bit of the, like the orange blossom and geranium kind of has like a rose note, but that orange blossom is also in here. Um, good smelling fragrance, $20 all day long, TJ Maxx, Ross, you see it there all the time. And if you want to smell a little bit different, if you want something that's going to work good for out of the shower, don't know about the gym though. I don't know about the gym because it's just not so safe I might not wear this to a gym or a new gym or one that you're not, uh, I just wouldn't. <laughs> Let's just put it like that. I just, I just kind of wouldn't reach for this one for the gym. It's just not well suited for that. That's the only high heat thing that I probably wouldn't go for with this. But other than that, if it's hot, this is a green light. So that's my final thoughts on Sean John's 3 a.m. With that, I'm out. Y'all be blessed. Take care of yourself always. And until next time.